looking at all these ships, trying to figure out how to make money so that you can afford some things, the things that you want, especially something like the Python, or maybe it's the Beluga Liner because you like doing pasture liners or pasture missions. Well, don't worry. You're probably wondering, how the heck do I make money out of this? Well, don't worry. I think I can get you, help you get covered for that. Hello, everybody. Akira here, and welcome to what might be a bit of a short video, um, which is me talking about how to make money on Elite Dangerous. Obviously, making money on Elite Dangerous is a problem sometimes, especially if you're a new player and you may not be knowing exactly what you need to do or what's going on. Well, I can cover you for that. I can help you with that. Now, of course, it all depends on what you're trying to do and what you're comfortable with doing. Sometimes, some of us are comfortable with doing just a simple mission like, for instance, being able to just deliver things. Sometimes, some of us are more de um, adventurous, a little more daring, if you will. And, of course, some of us may do something like um, combat missions or even as much as bounty hunting. Well, those are a few ways. Of course, if you're extremely like, well, I don't really want to go bounty hunting, and trading to me seems boring, well, don't worry. The last thing you can do to make money, besides maybe doing trading, data delivery, or whatever, and if you're not as feeling as adventurous or risky as combat, as combat fighting, well, you can always go out and explore out into the distance, out into the unknown world, and find plants and discover new things obviously either way at first you need a good ship to make you money and whatnot but those are some of the simplest ways to um go out out and about on and on your way for and of course on your way for um for items or you know of course whatever um money or you know you may want to buy like i said there are also another there also is a third way to, uh, or a fourth way to, of course, make money. And that's Pasture Liar Missions. While Pasture Liar Missions do pay the most, they will take you a very, 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 very long time. Um, you know, Pasture Liar Missions can make you go left, right, up, and down, um, and pretty much anywhere in a matter of a few hours to a couple of days. So, in general, Pasture Iron missions may not be exactly your forte, and they may not be, like, something you may want to do, because, obviously, in many ways, obviously, these missions sometimes can just be like, ugh, man, it's just so long to do these things. And, yeah, I mean, I understand that. It does happen. But, in general, <laughs> you know, let's talk about how to make money. So, let's say you want to be a trader. Well, if the, if the case is you want to be a trader, only dangerous to make your money, um, you're going to need a trading ship. So, if you're just starting out, you're brand new, you're fresh through the game, you're fresh into, um, into, of course, playing Elite Dangerous, and you're like, well, I want to be a trader, and I want a cheap ship to trade off of. Don't worry, I got you covered. So, as far as cheap trips cheap sh uh, ships to go off of if you're in within the mark of let's say your first million your first one million or so um your first one million or so dollars um let's just round it off to uh, your first two million dollars well if you're really into your first two million dollars then there are a few good ships for you for you to potentially um get it well, actually, no. Let's start with the first five hundred thousand dollars. If you're in your first five hundred thousand, maybe six hundred thousand dollars, there are a few good ships for you to to use for um, being a trader. One of the main um, one of the main um, abilities, of course, is that of the hauler. The hauler is probably by far one of the cheaper ships that you can get to be a trader off of. Um, with a maximum combat, with a light year jump of 29 light years, with an approximate light year jump of about 29 light years, um, at, at an A class, well, 16 light years at, uh, at an A class, and 29 light years at, as your last jump. Obviously, these are, this is a pretty good, basic, decent ship for you to begin at. 
But let's say you got your first two million or so dollars, and you're now thinking, well, the, the hauler was great for me, and the sideliner was okay for me. Now, I want to get into something a little bigger. Well, if you're in your first two million dollars, you got a few options. You can either choose the Viper Mark III, you can choose the um, the Adder, or you can choose the the Eagle, or you can choose the Imperial Eagle. Um, all three of the all four of these ships are pretty much good for, you know, your first few million. Um, the Adder and the Viper Mark III being the most cargo holding ships. Um, the Adder at 26, and the 20 and the Viper Mark II at 22. But as you can see, going forward with um trading, it's not that hard, and obviously you can do it pretty easily. So of course it makes it fairly viable for you. Um. But with that being said, let's just say you're a little more risky. You're a little more on the bounty hunting side. Well, if the case is you're a little more on the bounty hunting side, you could try to do something like what I'm doing here, where where you may be trying to fight someone who just takes you out, who just decides to take you out of, <coughs> to take you out of super cruise and scan you for materials. Well, this is the case of a bounty hunter in many ways. Um, in which case you can get bounties and make pretty easy money. But you're probably thinking, Akrai, what is a good bounty hunting ship for me to get started at? And of course, what weapons should I go with? Well, you're going to look at A-class ships at that point. And obviously, there are a few. So let's just round it off and let's say you're at your first three million dollars. Your first three million or so dollars. Well, you got a few options for yourself at your first three million mark. You can either go with a Viper Mark III, um, which is a very good combat ready ship. You can go with an Imperial Eagle. You could go with an Adder. Um, you could go with an Eagle Mark II. And those are all very good combat ready um, marvels for um, for you as a... For you, of course, as a um, as a, a bounty hunter. As you go forward, as you collect more bounties, of course, it does become a little more um, viable to buy other options. To buy other... Um, other ships, and, um, you know, and of course, in general, make more money. Bounty hunting does not, of course, take a long time. You can make money in no time, and fairly simply, e and fairly easily, with just bounty hunting alone. So, obviously, there is a good, um, chance that bounty hunting may be for you if you're willing to risk your ship and risk your neck for whatever the reason is. But you're probably thinking, Akira, I want to be a good bounty hunter. What weapons should I use? Well, don't worry. In a future video, I will go over bounty hunting and, of course, um, weapons that you may or may want look, may or may not want to look into. And with that being said, there is another option. There is the third option that we kind of glanced over, which I kind of said was the fourth option, which of course is pasture missions. Pasture missions are, of course, a very good way to earn money. Most of the time, pasture missions are very low risk. Um, the only time that it may get dangerous is if you have a a person who wants you to capitalize or or take down a ship that's potentially a threat to them. Um, and other times, the risk of passenger missions comes from transporting in a, a criminal throughout the galaxy and on his galaxy trip. But either way, passenger missions obviously pay very, very well. And I will, um, of course, um, go into detail about the um, passenger missions and how come they do pay so well. But they take a super long time. If time is not something that is in your in your um, in your hands or within your your um, your thoughts, then time then passenger missions may not take your fancy. I mean, obviously they take a long time, even though they pay well. <laughs> Which leads us to our fourth and final option. Exploring the vast unknown of space. Um, exploring the vast unknown of space is always an option. And in many ways, um, you know, exploring the vast unknown of space is probably the best option that you can go for. It's very low risk. Um, exploring the vast unknown of space, scanning every planet, doing all the um, little exploration and whatnot jobs are probably by far some of the easiest and low risk missions that you'll ever do the problem with it is of course that they take time they are obviously not just something that um that you can do right off the bat and with that being said 
you know, it will take time to explore. One of the best exploring ships that you could get. If, of course, for some reason you don't have enough um, money, is, of course, the, um, is, of course, the, um, the Diamondback Explorer. With a, with a cost of about 11 million or so dollars, um, total to make the Diamondback Explorer a fully, um, full, a full-fledged, um, A-class, um, exploring ship, it is well worth the, um, risk. Now, this is before engineering. Let me just tell you, the 37 light years is before engineering. It's not when you engineer it. When you engineer it, obviously, it'll become much more. But if you're looking to just get into exploring immediately, and I mean immediately, <laughs> then, um, <clears throat> then the, um, then, of course, the, um, the, um, <clears throat> the, um, the Adder, which is one of the very first ships you could probably get, or, or afford, is probably one of the best ships to go out exploring with right off the bat. The Adder has a very low jump range, relatively, but, when engineered, and, of course, when you do decide, if you do decide to cut some corners, or make it to where you're running lower, um, lower than you need to, um, stuff, the Adder is a very co um, comfortable exploring ship right off the bat. But hopefully these have all helped you get better at making money. And of course in some way learn how to make money. And of course while you know this is, in, this is just a small small idea of everything you can do. I will go into detail about like being a bounty hunter and whatnot in a future video but hopefully you all have learned something from this hopefully this has helped you make you um you know better and of course elite dangerous and making money and hopefully you too will be able to afford any ship at that you will want um going forward but with that being said thank you everyone for watching this video thank you for being here thank you for stopping by thank you for hanging out if you enjoyed this video you know what to do Hit that like button, get subscribed, hit that bell notification because I know you want to know when my next video drops next. If you didn't like it, well, you can hit that other button. But um, you can also follow me on Twitch at www.twitch.tv slash Akurai. I am usually live on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays doing something competitive. But sometimes I do something like Elite Dangerous. Sometimes I do something like, um, like Fallout 76. But with that being said, thank you everyone for joining me on this video, thank you for watching this video, and until the next one, this is Akurai, signing out and saying farewell everyone.